Hello again. This is Bill Doggett, an African-American performing arts archivist and historian with a, another installment on the Black Swan label. This is a recording of one of many in my Race and Early Sound archive. I'm proud to have it. This is one of the earliest releases of the Black Swan label. The Black Swan label is a product of a black entrepreneur by the name of Harry Pace, who was operating during, or I should say at the dawn of the Harlem Renaissance in Harlem, and was the first entrepreneur to consider the documentation and to create a record label expressly for the unknown, the emerging, and the promising African-American concert singer, the African-American classical musician, as well as the jazz and blues artists of the day, such as Ethel Waters. This was the label that first recorded her before she went to Columbia. There's so much to say about this recording, I'll try not to be too long-winded, but the contextualization I'm giving is really critical. Um, this is the young, promising tenor, Harry A. Delmore, who, by this recording, is operating on two levels, or I should say the significance of this recording is on two parallel levels. It represents, in this 1921 recording, the acknowledgement of the significance and the emergence of the most important dynamic new African-American tenor on the scene, Roland Hayes. Roland Hayes was assigned to the Aeolian Vocalion label, but Harry, L., Harry A. Delmar emerges not only in the shadow, but is inspired by Roland Hayes. The art song, Makushla, by Roe and McMurrow, is material that operates on another level. It's a pop song, a popular song, very similar to what another tenor, the Irish tenor, operating uh, just before this time and through this time, John McCormick would sing and record. It is accompanied by the Black Swan Symphony Orchestra, a orchestra of all African-American performers, classically trained performers, similar in some ways to, or I should say obviously a predecessor from 1921 to 27, of the Sphinx Symphony Orchestra. So it's very historic, and then when you contextualize it this way, I think it becomes much more important. So let's take a listen, and this is Black Swan 2009. It's a predecessor, excuse me, a predecessor of the formal red label Black Swan concert series, which was very specifically dedicated to documenting the emerging African American concert and opera singers, such as Florence Cole Tolbart and um, others. So let's take a listen. <laughs> 